Hi, I'm Lori Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I browse around Pinterest looking for great pins of ideas of craft projects done by crafters and bloggers all over the world. And each week I bring those to life in my show. So welcome. I'm excited today to share an idea on shadow boxes. You're first going to want to go to my pin board called Frames. Now in there you'll see a lot of great frame ideas, but you'll also see the traditional and non-traditional shadow box ideas. You'll see the ones where you put the scout uniform in with all of the the little badges and then your traditional baby outfit with a rattle. I wanted to step that up a notch based on a pin that I saw but first before we go to that pin let's sh let me share a couple others that I really enjoyed. The first is a shadow box frame on a pedestal. Now I like this. It's a candlestick pedestal and you know from a previous episode my candlesticks, candlesticks and cake stands that I enjoy anything kind of elevated to give different height when you're decorating. So this one is done by All Things Related and she did a beautiful job and walks you through how she created that on her blog. The second one is a colored shadow box by um, featured on House of Smith. Shelly Smith did this on her gallery wall that some of you may remember from a previous show. And I really love how she could bring pops of color in by simply changing out the background color in the shadow box. And then she applied vinyl over the top to give a design or a number, which I thought was really clever. Now the last one is the pin that inspired this show. It is a pin by Liz Paper Loft and it's this darling Halloween kind of 3D effect shadow box and I loved how she had the cute cut out haunted house and the kids prancing along trigger treating and then added candy corns to the bottom. So that's kind of what inspired and took this show on a whole new meaning. It's this cute Christmas shadow box idea and I had been mulling it around in my head and I really wanted to give it a try. So inside of course you can see I have peppermint candies and then on the back I applied some vinyl that is that etched vinyl that I like so much that looks like etched glass and I applied it right to this back piece. Now this isn't sold with two pieces of glass. I popped off the back and added a second piece of glass. And then on the front I added the vinyl words which is from a, one of our favorite family movies. Um, Elf is you know the best way to spread Christmas cheers to sing loud for all to hear. And I just applied that right to the front, wrapped a ribbon around it, hot glued it in place perfect little decor item. You can customize it for what you want, change out the message, and I just love the way that turned out. Now keep in mind, shadow boxes don't have to be limited to an actual hard frame. Again, you don't have to use the two pane glass window. I did this one where I added the etched vinyl and then um, added some cute scrapbook paper in the background and then buffalo snow in the back. So of course the snow moves around, kind of give you that fun effect on it. And again, I did the same thing where I tied the ribbon around it. But then again, you can make shadow boxes out of scrapbook paper. A lot of you have mentioned you'd like ideas for scrapbook paper. Now on silhouette.com, they have a downloaded file that'll let you build a paper shadow box and they have them in different formats. And I took on the challenge one day. I thought it would be really hard. It was so much fun. I'm addicted. I've downloaded all the files. I'm going to build all the different shapes of shadow boxes. And then in here, I've just taken um, Doodlebug's new Christmas line and kind of created them little custom windows. I need to add a photo right there, but how fun and easy can that be? And you can go to Doodlebug's blog, Doodlebug doodlebugblog.com, and you can see the cute ideas that they've done with previous frames like this. Now let me show you real quick how to put together this double pane glass. Now the frame I picked up at Ikea is actually a shadow box frame. And I simply popped off the back piece, which is usually a solid piece of like chipboard. And I replaced it with a piece of glass that I had cut. Now most of your hardware stores will cut glass to size, glass stores as well. So this was a nine by nine. So, um, Thankfully, I have a friend whose husband does windows, so that came in real handy in the middle of the night when I came up with this project. So thank you, Andrea, for having that cut. So I'm simply, and in each shadow box is this piece that holds the front and the back apart from each other to create that shadow box look. So I really enjoy that. I think these frames at Ikea run about seven, eight dollars. So they're very affordable. Then I thought it would be fun to create a bit of a winter scene. So I have these really cute snowflakes that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I thought it'd be fun to dangle one from the top and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bottom one. So I'm just going to take some washi tape because you're not going to see this in the shadow box. So I just have it kind of hanging there. Well, in theory, let's tape it in really good so it stays in place. Or use some really good tape. I'm going to tape it to the back. 
because then when I put that piece of glass down, it'll stay in place. And then I'm just going to set this one inside. Then I have some of that fun buffalo snow that's worse than glitter. It gets everywhere. I'm going to just drop this in, a good portion of it. And pretty soon it's going to look like it's snowing here all over. I'm going to drop my piece of glass in there where typically we'd have the back of the frame. And then they have those little prongs you can just push down to hold it in place. And then you've got a really fun wintry effect. I thought it'd be cute to add a cute quote about winter, tie a cute blue ribbon around it and make it look very wintry. And I, how easy was that? So you can create and add what you want, customize it the way you want. And I hope that this was an inspiring idea. Be sure to join me next week when we take snow globes to a whole new level. So thank you and have a great day.